after that, we'll move to talk about slow pump rate or SPR. Okay. SPR. Slow circulating rate circulating or rates. sometimes called reduced rate circulating pressure, RRCB. When we recorded this value during drilling, you know about this before, value? Yeah, before, before, before you start drilling, before you drill out. We recorded normally during drilling operation. Yes. Why we need to take this value? What's the meaning for this value, please? This is, uh, I can't remember now, slow circulating rate. This will be your minimum pump rates, right? That you require, am I right? Yeah. To circulate, if you get an influx, this will be the minimum pressure and rate that you will need to circulate the influx out at that depth, at that particular depth, am I right? Yeah, yes. We take this reading during drilling, normal yes. drilling. Yeah. We circulate normal circulation from the string, get the return from the uh, flow line. And yeah. we start to record this value during drilling operation on yes. the uh, log. And uh, it is reported to the company man uh, with the morning uh, report. Okay. Yes. Right. This during drilling operation, we use if we got kick, if you got kick and we shut in the well, we'll use this recorded value for circulating out the impulse because yes. we need slow pump rate like 30 SPM or 20 SPM to circulate the gas or the kick out from the hole to control yes. the well and the movement and adjustment for that shock. Or a motor shock. Yeah. That's why yeah. if you don't get the kick situation, this only just recorded that. Yes. So this one is pump pressure, right? The, the, yes. the, the driller start to record this value. He will start to reduce the pump rate to like 20 or 30 SPM. And they start yes. to take stabilization pressure value. So this yes. value is losses in the system. Is affected yes. by the drill string, by bit nozzle, by mud weight. When yes. we should record this value? When you you mean when we should record again? Yeah, yeah. If we change if we change the bit, we change the mud weight, change the mud type, or change anything in the BHA. Yes, because it's related to the pressure loss in the system. Pressure drop. First. Yeah. We need to record this value near to the bottom. We go bottom like one meter maximum. Yes. You slow, yes. you slowly yes. your pump rate. Okay. The uh, usually it's take from one between one to five variable minute, like from twenty to fifty spin during the rain. Yes. This is the minimum and this is the maximum value to use during killing operation. Right. We talk for two pump minimum, right. two reading for two pump. Why we mm. need two pump to record minimum because, for two pump? Because you, you cannot depend on one pump in case one pump gets uh, goes offline, you still need the other pump. Yes, when, you, during, during when you're killing operation, operation you have yeah. backup pump during the uh, killing operation. And two reading yes. also, one is backup to another. If you need to increase or decrease the pump rate during yes. killing operation, you already recorded two value. From yes. which gauge you need to record this value? While I am start pump now at 20 or 30 SPM. I have three places. One in mm. the drill console mm. cabin and another mm. gauge in the standby manifold. Third mm. gauge in remote shop uh, panel or swaco panel, a trick flow. Yeah. Which which yeah. which gauge? This should be on the choke panel. You know about choke panel, right? Reflow. Yes, because you are you'll be monitoring the choke panel when you are circulating out the influx. Yeah. From the same gauge you are using during killing operation from the remote yes. choke panel or swap panel. The difference between yes. the three gauge will not be that the, too much, but we need that to much. understand. Yes. From the same gauge you're monitoring during killing operation. Okay? Yes. The same yes. we'll do, so inshallah, think, so you, during the simulator yeah. also. From right. the remote so you, Yeah, so you 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 take the SCR 
at the remote choke line and when you kill also at the remote choke line right that's that's where you're watching the pressure right that's the yeah. most accurate okay yeah this is more accurate for you yeah when we need to take at the beginning for each tool hmm. crew, crew change i mean here at least once yep. at any Dual, time yep. mark for purposes change like weight or viscosity, viscosity. Yep. when the pit nozzle changes bottom wall assembly changes yes. After yep. any repair to mud pump, yep. after killing operation because you change the kill mud weight, yep. and at least every 500 feet fast, fast drilling of new hole. Now nobody do this, right? No, it, it should be. Mm, it should be, but nobody does, right? It should be. Why? Because if you drill, for example, fast drilling 500 by 500 by 500, Mm. Your reading at the kick, it was not the same as the time for the kick. Your reading at while drilling, for example, you are mm. drilling now at 5,000 feet. Mm. After 500, you reach to 5,500. You don't mm. take this reading. After, mm. you take only at 5,000. After 6,000, mm. you don't re take this reading. Mm. At mm. 7,000, you take kick. Did you think? Mm. The value you no. start to calculate the SCR at the kick depth is the same would, at the 5,000. No. It will be increased because it would, it would. the depth is deeper. You go deeper. Correct. And drill. That's Correct. why every 500 feet to be updated sure. with the value near to the kick situation. Every 500 feet. Because your SCR value will be changed every 500 feet for drilling fast. Okay? Correct. Why we need to take the SCR or why we need to kill the well with a slow pump rate? When you're killing the well, you, you stop, you already shut in the well by pipe dam. Yeah. You start to circulate from the choke line. It's not from right. the flow line. So you right. have limitation in the uh, ID well, of the pipe. Yeah. Yes. You have limitation in mud gas separator to vent the yep. gas out. You yep. have one operator or supervisor working at the remote shop to control the pressure for the way. So yep. you need all time to control the operation. So we need to reduce your pump rate. First reason, minimize the APL for excess of annulus pressure, which can uh, affect on the bottom yep. for the well. Allow more time to control the yep. choke adjustment. Allow time for the Correct. crew to waiting up the mud weight, the kill mud weight dynasty. Yes. And also you have yep. gas separator capacity. You don't need to make overload Correct. in the mud gas separator. And to reduce the risk Correct. for the choke erosion, the choke can be erosion from high pump rate. If you get plugging during killing operation in the uh, shock system or shock plug, you reduce the, the risk for overpressure in the system, which can break the weak point. Right. This is the reason to use slow pump rate during killing operation. Yes. Clear? Clear. Okay. After that, we'll talk about formation strength test or yes. some companies called LOT, lake of test, yep. or yep. in some company called FIT, formation yes. integrity, integrity test. test. Yeah. What you measure or what the objective for this test? Uh, maximum max the, the maximum allowable pressure before before you have a leak off at the bottom of the hole in, with the with the current mud weight in the hole to get yeah. your to get your to get your your maximum allowable mud weight. Uh, in that section. Yes. This to get maximum or fracture mud weight, yep. you can drill with next section of open yes. hole. If you exceed this value, you will have losses in the weak point, which usually is the show kissing shoe or kissing the shoe. shoe. Yeah, correct. So this one to test the strength for the formation before it start to break or mm -hmm. leak. It will not break first, it will leak only. So the yes. leak of test, it's called leak of test because you have leak 
start the fluid taking or coming inside yeah, the stop. formation. Yeah. It's not completely yeah. break. Yeah, the yeah. difference between leak of test and FIT formation activity test is the same procedure, but in leak of test, you make in the uh, exploration well, new area. Right. You need to know where, at which point the formation will start to break or leak. Right. But right. in formation activity test, you perform in development well, yeah. known yeah. area. So yeah. you go up to some safety margin value yes. from surface pressure, and you hold to confirm the formation and show it's holding this pressure. Yeah. Okay, this is the difference between leak of test and formation integrity test. Which pump usually we need to perform this type of test? Brick pump Which? or cement pump? No, cement pump. Why cement pump? Because you can control the pressure accurately. You will not break the formation. You can you can increase. Yeah, because, because you, have, you have more control with cement pump. It give you more accuracy and data. And yeah, second and thing, it give you low rate for the pump output with high yes. pressure. You can start yes. with quarter, half, three quarter barrel. But in the rate pump, yes. it yes. give you from the start for the pump more than one barrel. Right. So when you perform this one, after you set your cement, you start to drill out the float show yes. and show track. You yes. drill from five, maximum 50, 50 feet on yes. the new hole below the yes. shore. After that, you will start to circulate to make homogeneous yes. for the mud and the well. After yes. that, you start to pull your string inside your case before yeah. you start your test. Why you need yeah. to pull inside the shore? Uh... Because you don't want you don't want to lose uh, you don't want to fracture the formation and cause losses with the BHA in the open in the open hole you you, you might cause differential sticking so you 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 protect it and bring to, it back to avoid to avoid the stuck yeah to yeah, avoid right. the stuck if you yeah. leave your bottom hole assembly an open hole for a long yes. time it can stuck and you lose yeah. the hole yeah yeah right. so you pull back to the show yeah. you close your uh, string you close your BOB and you yeah. start line up your pump or cement unit at the kill line. At yeah. the time, you start to pump slowly with no mud weight till yeah. surface pressure start to drop. At that moment, you know the formation start to take fluid inside. Correct. You stop at this point. This point at the surface pressure is called leak of test pressure. When you add yeah. that this surface pressure plus your hydrostatic head from surface to the shore, yeah. it gives you the fracture right. pressure for the formation. Yes. This is the trend. You plot here yes. pressure by volume. When the yes. pressure here starts to coming out from the trend, that means yes. the formation will not support this pressure. It start right. to lose. So at right. this point, you will stop. For example, this point is 720 psi. PSI. When you add 720 psi to hydrostatic pressure in the well, it gives you the maximum pressure at the shore or yes. the breakdown of the formation. Right. For example, here, this value at the trend is 720 psi. Yes. You have mud weight in the well 9.7 dBg. Yes. That show at 3,000 foot. Yes. So when you add, can you calculate the hydrostatic head and add to yeah. 720? So three, yeah, so 3,000 times uh, 9.6 times 0 0.052, you get 1,497, 1,98 PSI. That is hydrostatic. Hydrostatic plus, is 1,498 plus whatever you put on through the cement unit, which is 720, so 1.98, 1498 plus uh, 720, you get 2218, 2217, 2218 PSI. No, here you need to have correct uh, number without any fraction for the pressure. Okay. And this pressure so, must be rounded down. 
This is okay. fraction pressure. For, for safety. Times 0 0.052 times 3000. You get 1497 plus 720. Yes, 2217.6. So 2217. Yeah. 2217 you because you need to be away. Safety margin away from Down. the yes. pressure for the fraction. This is Correct. the fracture. It's called fracture the pressure, yes. or it's called breakdown pressure, or yeah, sometimes yes. it's called formation strength. PSO. Yes. Okay. Yes. From this equation, I can divide the two side by 0 0.052 by TBD show to get yes. the maximum allowable mud weight or fracture. Yes. Mod the equation yes. for fracture mod weight, you will find here in equation number eleven in the formula sheet. Maximum yes. allowable mud density yes. equal to surface leak of test pressure. Yes. From the gauge divided by show TBD. Yes. Times 0 0.052 plus leak of test at mud density at the time for the test. Yes. So yes. you take the you, so you take the total pressure, right? Two two one seven, right? Yeah, the pressure I will divide it by 0 0.052. Yeah. I will divide it by TBD for sure. Okay, give me yes. the equivalent uh, uh, mod weight equivalent to the fracture pressure. Right, correct. correct. This yes, is the correct. equation. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So it's two two one seven divided by zero point zero five two times by nine three thousand three thousand plus our original mod weight nine point six. So we get two two one seven divided by zero point zero five two times by three thousand. Uh, plus nine point. Oh, that's high, really. Yeah, this is calculation for example. Yeah, two two one seven divide by yes, three thousand times zero point zero five two. Yes, fourteen point two. Fourteen point two. Here. We calculate here maximum allowable drain flow density or yes. fracture. This must be rounded down. Only one decimal yes. after point mark here. Correct. So there is two ways, Mr. Honey. You can take the you can take the the, the cement unit pressure first, right? And and do that plus nine point six, right? Yeah. yeah. Or you can take the total one and yeah, correct. Okay. The same. Agree. 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 Okay. Yes. From here. Leak of test pressure, usually this is the maximum surface pressure, right? At the other yes. You yes. can see when you add it to hydrostatic head, you will break the weak point, it's the show point, yes. right? Yes. Okay. What parameters can affect the value for the fraction pressure? Uh, what can affect uh, ununiform mud weight, one, one. The mud weight uh, from the equation can affect. Yes. Okay. Mud weight. Uh, what else? The mud weight. The formation pressure itself. No, the formation pressure is not factory. It's not. It's not part of things. So, what else can it be? Hold the on. correct Maximum. depth for the show TVD. It will affect your value. Homogeneous mud weight in the in the in the well. First, correct. Second, TVD for the shoe. Correct depth for the you, shoe. You, you mean you mean you mean if they if they place the shoe at the wrong at the wrong depth? Is that ah. is that your point? Yeah, it will affect ah, your okay. value for yes, the fraction yes. for the maximum mud weight. Yes, correct. And they, also, the is short. yeah, and also calibrated pressure gauge at the surface to read correct surface pressure. To right. calculate your maximum of it. Right. This is the three parameters can give you incorrect value for your maximum allowable mod weight. Yes. Okay. Yes. But another definition here related to killing operation. It's called 
maximum allowable annulus or annular surface pressure, which is yes. called MASP, M-A-A-S-P. Correct. This is also from its name, the maximum pressure you can read at the surface in the annulus. When you add it to hydrostatic head at the show, it will break the show point or the ketip. Yes. yes. So what is the difference between leak of test and the mask? Post-surface pressure, annular plus hydrostatic head, it breaks the show. Mm. Look at the equation for the mask. The mask equation, equation number 12 at the formula sheet. Equation number 12. Okay. Mass equal maximum allowable mod density, which is the oh. fracture mod weight, minus yes. current mod density. Yes. All times 0 0.052 times show TBD. Yes. Here, when you calculate for uh, leak of test, you consider in this equation the current mod weight as the time for the test. Yes. It can be different from the current mud weight when I took the kick and when I drill in the open hole, right? right. Yeah. For example, I start with 10 BBG. Yes. I get I get from the test maximum allowable mud weight 17. Yes. So I start to drill with 12. Yes. The mass we calculated based in 12, the time you are drilling the mud width and you take 10. the kick. Mm. 12. Mm. Yes. This is the difference. Yes. The mass can be equal the leak of test pressure at the surface if you are drilling with the same mud weight you perform the leak of test well. At the shoe, yes. At the shoe. So the yes. leak of test will be equal to the mass. So the yes. mass, this is the maximum surface pressure at the casing. I don't need to exceed during killing operation to yes. not break the casing, the, casing the, the, the weak point, yes, correct. This is the point, yeah. This is the point. Yes. Our casing pressure should be less than this value. Less than the value, yes. So you don't fracture, you don't fracture below the casing while trying to kill at the bottom. Yeah, when you're killing at the bottom. If yeah. I exceed, I will take losses inside the shoe point. The shoe, yes, correct. And you make okay. double problem for everyone, yes. You will go to something called underground blowout. Yes. <laughs> All the right. kill level, it will be lost in the loss zone. In the loss zone, yes. Be more correct. complicated for killing the prey. More complicated, yes, correct. If you look here, mass equal maximum allowable mud weight. This is the yes. fracture minus yes. current mud weight. All yes. times 0 0.052 times TBD for the show. Right, and reference maximum, is always at the show. Yes, maximum allowable mud weight and TBD for show will not change mm. in the world, right? Mm. Mm. It will yes. be related to the formation. Yes. What is the parameter can it change to recalculate again the mass value? Uh, mud weight. Mud weight. If yes. the mud weight from the surface to the show point is changed, you need yes. to recalculate your mass value. Correct. What will happen if the mud weight increase in the value? What will happen to the mass? The mass will go down. Will go down because there is minus here between. Yes. When the mud weight increase, the mass go down. Yes. When the drilling flow is less, like when the gas coming above the show, your yes. mass will be increased. Yes. Okay. So if the mud weight is changed, the mass should be, should be recalculated. Calculated. We yes. calculate first time after shutting the well. And we need to recalculate if your hydrostatic head from surface to show a chain for any reason yes. during circulation. Yes. yes. So if I'm drilling, if I'm drilling ahead, uh, two uh, one thousand meters, uh, one thousand feet below the shoe, and I change the mud weight, I should recalculate the the mass, yes. right? You will okay. To the and I should lock mass. lock that again. So in case we take a kick below the shoe, we shut in the maximum will be based on the new mud weight, right? Yes, yes, for sure. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is the mass value. When I need to consider our casing pressure will not exceed the mass. Only when you circulate the yes. gas kick from inside the open hole, from the bottom up to the show point. Yes. After that, we will not consider the mass value. Correct. 
will not why because when the gas take out from the show the show point of testing show pressure will be constant will not break yes correct okay correct here if you look with another way mass equal to maximum show pressure the fracture pressure minus photon ph as the show if the ph is down i mean here the mod weight the mm -hmm. parameter the mass will go up if the ph mod weight increase the mass will go down one is looking up for mass when the show pressure is down mm -hmm. Mass is down when the show pressure or put a hydrostatic head of the show is up. This is the yes. relation between the mass and show pressure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And mass also, when you round it, it will be rounded down, like the fracture pressure, like LOT. Take of this. Why? Because this is maximum value. Yeah, if I exceed, I will break. Yes. yes. I need to be away. From this value. away from the maximum, yes. Yeah. What parameters can increase the risk of exceeding mass? What can increase the risk of exceeding mass? Can risk uh, is risk of exceeding mass? Incorrect. Uh, yes. Yeah, depth. Yeah. Unexpected high pressure kick size. Yes. Yeah. If you take kick more kick volume, that means high will be more, more reduction hydrostatic heat. So the casting pressure more yep. increase. So the range between the casting pressure and mass will be less, the margin. Yep. Low fracture pressure formation. Yes. Long yes. open hole section. That mean we need to circulate yep. long distance from bottom to the show to control yes. your casting pressure away from the mass. If you have gas yeah. migration in closed well, all, all pressure yes. will be increased. Bad practice during killing operation. You put yeah. more, too much safety margin during killing operation. Yeah. You, you still yeah. are near from the mask. Ignore chip line friction. This is for subsea. Usually in surface mm -hmm. VOB, we ignore that chip line friction because it's short lens. But in the subsea yes. rig, yes. It will be short from yes. seabed up to surface. Seabed to top surface, yeah, correct. Okay. Correct. This is the uh, parameters can increase the risk for exceeding the mask. If you exceed the mask, you don't need to exceed you mask can... value during killing operation. When you kill a uh, kick in the open hole section from bottom to the show, after show, if the gas is out from the show, you will not consider the mass value. Okay. Yes. When we deal in this course with the kick, we will consider the scenario, which is the worst scenario. You, our calculation will be based on gas kick, is not oil or water. Why? Yes. Because the gas has different okay. behavior from mm. the liquid. Yes. The liquid, when you take temporary kick at the bottom, the temperature will come to the surface like the same temperature, yes. water or oil. Correct. But when Correct. you take temporary, for example, equivalent to increasing the tank gas, yes. the gas will start to migrate in closed well with the same pressure for the formation. Correct. It can exceed mass quickly. Or yes. while circulating, they'll start to expand according to oil law for expansion for the gas. So it will take height in the more height inside the well, more reduction hydrostatic, more increase in the surface pressure. That's why dealing with the gas is the worst scenario. But dealing with gas and oil, yes. it would be less risk. So in our assumption yes. in this course, and our calculation will be based on yes, gas kicks. Gas kick on the gas kicks. Now we take kick. So we have positive indicators. 
and yeah. we start to shut in the well. This is right. the procedure now. We transfer from principle to the procedure for shut in. What the driller should do, the driller is responsibility to indicate the kick and react fast to shut in the well without any delay, without any permission. Yeah. What is the time for procedure for shut in? You know what about hard shut in procedure and soft shut in? Uh, I I've read about it, but not too not 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 too sure. Okay. Hard shut in is hard shut in is it's all about time only timing, right? Yeah. You have two type for shut in. Most of companies dealing with hard shut in or soft mm. shut in. This mm. is the decision for the client. Mm. The client policy said that you need hard shut in procedure. So the rig mm. will follow this instruction. Right. Okay. For the line up during any operation. For right. the hard shut in procedure, if you look here, you have your BOB stack analog, right. blind shear, pipe ramp, and right. lower pipe ramp of the wheel head. Right. You have kill line here, and you have a chip line here. Right. Here you have cement unit and you have mm -hmm. pump. Right. The red is closed and the green is open. This is the line right. up during right. tripping from the start spot to the end for the way. Right. Here in each truck line and kill line, there is two valves. One is manual right. and one is called HCR, hydraulic valve. Right. right. Seven and eight, this is manual valve. You can close right. by hand. Usually we keep right. open. We don't use during killing operation. Right, and it's, it's left open, right? Kept open you all the it? time. Yeah, it's left open, yeah. Okay. And this is in the side for the, for the BOB body. And the outer is the HCR valve, six and nine. Usually we keep closed. Why we kept closed during drilling? to take the return from the flow line, from up. Okay? Yes, correct. And here we line up to mud pump. So we pump from the string, we get return from the flow line. During killing operation, we close the pipe ram so the kill and, and the killing operation will be coming through the choke line. From the choke line, back to the choke manifold arrangement for valves to control the pressure for the well. 10 is open and this gauge is open. The manual gauge, yep. the manual valve 11 open and the remote shock is completely closed. Closed. This is the line up for hard shut in. Yeah. It's CR closed. Remote shock is closed, closed. from beginning. Mm. Completely mm. closed. How you close? There is lever on the remote shock panel to keep the shock completely yeah. closed. If you need to check, you go to rig floor, shoot this line up. If you, you the rig is follow yeah. the correct procedure, that means we follow the procedure for world control. Any deviation from right. this procedure, this it will be a big problem. Okay. Yes. So the only change or difference between hard and soft. Hard from its name is hard way. So the remote shock from the beginning is completely shut. shut. But if you look, <coughs> now we are drilling and we, hard, we had hard shut in procedure. Mm. What I should do if I take kick during drilling operation? I'm drilling on the bottom. Mm -hmm. The increase in the flow, the flow rate coming and the flow line. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I stop bump and I need to shut in the well following mm -hmm. hard shut in mm -hmm. procedure. Mm -hmm. What you should do first, you will pick up the bottom from the yep. bottom yep. and position the strain. Yep. You have the tool joint above your brick floor. Yep. You can see it's why to close the BOB. Out. Yeah, you space across out to, to the body. Avoid the yeah, across, across the tool joint, yeah. Yeah. Second point in sequence, you stop bump and rotation. Mm. Right. Third, it is hard. 
So you start to close immediately the BOB, whatever yeah. RAM or panel. It's up to right. you. Right. So there is sudden impact now on the formation. Right. This one is closed and the BOB is closed. Yeah. After that, you will open number nine, open hydraulic yes. side outlet valve. So yes. the flow or the pressure will come from this side, coming yeah. here, hit. Yeah. The closed remote shock, remote shock. and you yep. start to read shot the in pressure. casing pressure. Yeah. The analysis pressure. Yeah. This can manage this procedure with hard formation. Yeah. What mean hard formation? Strong formation, formation, the strength is yeah. high. Do not break yes. immediately. If you use this method right. with soft formation, it will break. Because some, yes. suddenly you close the well on the cake. Correct. That's why it's hard to shut in proceed. Understood. Mr. Hani, this RAM or, or annular, who makes the decision on, on whether you close the RAM or the annular? It's up to you. It's up to you. The well mm. control is not specify the RAM or annular. If you need to start with annular, it's annular. okay. Mm. If you need to start with pipe mm. RAM, it is okay also. Direct, yeah. okay, make decision. If you are working, if you are drilling with Kelly, you know the Kelly, some rig is Kelly rig. So at that time, you right. close the annular. The biobram will not seal around the Kelly. Mm. Mm. Okay, this depends on right. the operation, right? Mm. So, what, what about line up for soft shopping? All same except mm. that the remote shop is completely Supply open. It's completely open, yeah. From the beginning. That's from why it's yeah. called easy and soft way to shut in the well. So what is the procedure yeah. if I need to close while drilling the well if I get cake? First, the same, same. pickup and position string space out. Yeah. Stop yep, pump and rotation. Rotation, yeah. Third thing, I will not close the PP. I will give pass for the flow. I will open yes. the HCR. So the flow coming Side. from the BOB yep. and the coming from the shock line. After that, yep. I will close the BOB. Remember number four. Yep. Okay. Still yep. have influx or flow coming through the open remote shock. Yep. After that, finally, I will start to close remote hydraulic shock, yeah. and I recorded the casing pressure. Understood. So you leave you leave time for the fluid to, to, to flow out first to reduce the bottom hole pressure. Yeah. And then you, you the final one is a remote choke. So you're not you're not banging you're not banging the bottom of the formation, right? That's yeah. the point, right? Yeah. This is yeah. method is suitable with the soft formation, soft formation or weak formation. Or weak shoe, yeah. Yeah. That's why in the same country, you can find one field, field use oh. soft and soft. another field use R. Yeah. This is yes. the client decision. Understood, Mr. Which method give you less volume for the cake? The first one. Hard shut in, because from beginning, yes. you shut in you all shut. the way. Yeah, yeah, correct. The increase in the tank will be at the time you know the cake. Yes. Before you shut in the way. Yes. But here you give pass, so you will take a lot of cake volume yes. and soft and shot in proceed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Correct. I have a question here. Yes. Can I replace number two by number one? Step number two by step number one. I start to stop bump and rotation first. Then I make a space out. It's possible. Stop pump and rotation first, and then pick up both bottom and position strings. Stop pumps and rotation. Stop pump and rotation. You can. Stop do pump you, and rotation. Do you have any effect? Uh, you might, you might, you might stick the, you might, you might, uh, you might, you might. If you don't, if you don't pick up bottom, you might stick the BHA down, down in the hole. You, it can happen, right? Stop pump and rotation. Pick up. Stop pump. Stop pump and rotation. And then pick off, pick up, stop pump. You can, why not? No effect. 
the 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 kick the kick will probably it will not it will not migrate so fast up up the hole if you stop if you stop the pump first, right? Why? Because you stop the pump, so that you don't you're not, you're not pumping the the kick up. The kick will be it will be lower down if you stop the pump and and and, and then pick up bottom. But you might get stuck also. What do you lose if you stop the pump first? You will lose your hydrostat, your uh, APL, your, hydro, your ECD. Uh, you will lose APL. Yes. What you, will happen if you lose the APL? You lose so you, more pressure control the formation, right? From beginning. That yes. means you, you, if you... you more, more influx, really. Yes, yes, yes. If you stop the bump from the beginning, yes, you will have more influx inside the well compared to if you space out first, then you stop the bump. That's, that's the why yeah. I need the bump running with me till the moment I will shut in the well. Shut the, the well, yes. To have more pressure on the zone or the formation to have less influx volume. Yes. Because yes. space out and offshore sometimes take one minute. Imagine yes. if you increase your kick volume by two barrels. Mm. And this is gas. The gas start to reach to the surface. The two barrels maybe it's come to the surface like 15 barrels or 20 barrels. Yes. So there yes. is effect. That's right. why you will pick up for it first, then you stop your pump and rotation. Right. To the keep it. Yeah. To keep the APL and the ECD the same about yes. the move. Understood. Yeah. Understood. After that, you shut in the well. What will happen? The well start to stabilize. Yeah. The pressure at the surface start to increase to read shut in the rail pipe pressure and shut in casing pressure. So after that, you convert the pressure to more volume uh, value in okay. the mud way to kill yes. the well. Yes. Before you start to read the value at the gauges, you need to make sure there is no leak while shot in the well from the BOB. So right. this is the first action the driller is responsible for. The driller now shot in the well without any delay. He will pick yes. up phone to call the tool busher and the company man to rig flow. I have kicked, yes. I shot in the well already. Come to rig flow. Yes. So before you start to take reading, you need to make verification about the closed BOB. Yes. The best way here to line up above the closed BOB on the trip yes. tank. Yes. If you have any leak, you will see in the trip tank. You will see yes. droplet in the trip tank. Why trip yes. tank? Because a small tank in the volume. Yes, correct. By this way, you are sure your reading for the pressure will be correct. If you read, if you're reading, if you have leak and you take reading, your reading will not correct. Your calculation for kill mod will not correct. Finally, yes. you will not be able to kill the wind. Yes. Or sometime the driller will visually check the BOB from outside and yes. coming or rig floor and start to check from the bin nipple. From the yes. floor from above with yes. the light or torch light. Yes. And yes. line up to the trip tank and set the alarm and sensors. So if yes. you have increased that indicate you need to close another ramp to stop yes. this loop. This is how to verify you are successfully shot in the well. After you shot in the well, you start to record your value for shot and drill pipe pressure, shot and kissing pressure. And this is the responsibility now for the supervisor. Yes. To start to complete the kill sheet and to calculate kill mod weight and to make plan for killing operation. Right. Clear? Clear. Do you have any question at this point? Uh, is there any, can you go back to the hard, hard shutting procedure? Here? Yeah. Okay, this, uh, number six will never be open. Huh? Once you shut in, number six, you don't have to open that valve. 
Which one? Number, number six? six. No, no, number six. This is kill line. Uh, so these ones are closed. It's nothing. This, this you you that is only the second stage only. Yeah. So right now it's all just through the remote choke. That's it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is uh, connected to pump with a check valve. Yes. Yes. Here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Correct. Yeah, this is correct. Yeah. And this is okay. again look at soft trapping. Same. Mm. Two, the first two step is same. Yes. Okay. Any right. question? We'll stop for uh, lunch break. Yes, no, no, no question. Okay, after no inshallah, have okay. our see you. Okay. Sure. Thanks, okay. Adani. Thanks. Clear our presentation. Last point to stop at at uh, after we shut in the well and verification that the closed POB is not there is no leak from the POB. So we now are going now to record our shutting yes. drill pipe pressure and shutting casing pressure. Post gauge will start to increase yeah. till stabilization happens to the yeah. bottom hole pressure. Bottom hole pressure will be equal our formation pressure. Yes. In this case, we start to take our reading every uh, two minutes. We'll start to record time versus the uh, yeah. shutting drill pipe pressure and shutting casing pressure. Usually when right. the influx coming inside the wheel pour, it will enter the unloss area. It will not affect inside the drill pipe. Right. Why? Because you have float valve in the string. Yes. And if you don't have float valve, right. also the, the nozzle for the pit will not allow the yes. uh, kick to come in inside the drill string. So the drill right. string right. will be homogeneous fluid. The drill um, right. drilling mark. So here, if you look here, surface pressure and time after shutting, you will have analog pressure yep. higher than the drill pipe pressure. This is initial build up. Yes. Okay. After that, there is a stabilization period. From in this period, you will start to take your reading, shutting drill pipe pressure and shutting casing pressure to start your yes. calculation for killing operation. After yes. some time while you are working in the kill sheet and the calculation, you will yes. start to see all pressure in the well start to increase by the same amount for Delta B for the pressure increasing. This due to influx is gas and the gas start to migrate due to its density, different density between the gas yes. and drill, uh, the, uh, drill uh, fluid inside the yes. anus. Yes. What the data you will record, shot and drill pipe pressure, shot and casing pressure, and bit gain, this increase in the level inside the tank at surface equivalent yes. to the volume of the cake inside the wheel pool. Here, yes. the yellow is the gas, outside the drill string and the drill string is clean of drill fluid. What is the drill shot and drill pipe pressure referred to? The difference between bottom hole or formation pressure and the hydrostatic head inside the drill string. Yes. Shot and casing pressure give you difference between Shot and drill, shot uh, bottom hole pressure and two hydrostatic head and unless hydrostatic head for influx plus hydrostatic yes. head for the mud. Bit gain give you indication about the influx at shot in. At normal condition, shot in casing pressure higher than the shot in drill pipe pressure. Why? Yes. Shot in casing pressure higher than shot in drill pipe pressure. Yeah, because the influx is in the annulus. The influx and the analogs give you yes. uh, less, less in hydrostatic heat to compensate this reduction. Casing pressure will increase and jump yes. this, compensate this difference to have bottom hole pressure equal to the formation pressure. Yes. Okay. So it's, 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 it means the kick is already inside the inside the casing. Yeah. It's yeah. affect the casing pressure only. That's yeah. why we tell you from beginning. Uh, if you shut in the well in small volume for kick without any delay, you will get mm. less shut in surface casing pressure here. 
so you are have branch away from the mass value so your yes. killing operation will be more easy yes okay let's look here this is the drill string area part right this is the analyst area so right. when the weather shot in formation pressure it will be equal bottom hole pressure from both side yes. from the drill string side formation pressure it will be equal shot in drill pipe pressure plus hydrostatic pressure mud inside the pipe shot in kissing pressure other side plus hydrostatic for influx plus mud mm. hydrostatic it will be equal formation pressure so mm. which side is the best to calculate your formation pressure it will be the formation side the drill pipe string side because it's clean fluid so you yes. get the surface pressure you get hydrostatic head you calculate your formation yes. pressure after that you can move yes. to the other side your formation pressure known so you can know mm. the gradient or the type for the influx inside the wheel yes board. yes why shot and kissing pressure higher than shot and drill pipe pressure because hydrostatic pressure and or hydrostatic analysis is affected by the influx influx yeah yeah what can affect how if we have flood valve in the string what yes. you will read at the surface if you have flood valve in the string if you have yeah and you have kick you will read only shot in casing pressure the shot in yes. the pipe pressure will be equal zero because when you shut down the pump the float will yes. close correct so how we can record shot and drill pipe pressure in this case? Mm. Can you use, can you, no, you cannot use the, 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 the pressure before you shut down. Uh, you, you can use so, flow circulation rates? You no. will open the float valve to read the pressure. So we use the pump for sure. How we yes. can know how we can do this here how to can find shot in drill pipe pressure you mm. you have casing pressure value 600 psi and yes. shot in drill pipe pressure zero and you have float yes. valve here zero yes. shot in drill pipe pressure so you will yeah. start your pump slowly five only yeah. spm like half barrel yeah and yeah. you look at the shot in casing pressure value when you see the shot yeah. in casing pressure start to increase, that means there is communication yeah. and the float valve is open. At this moment, you shut down yes. your pump, you read the trapped pressure inside the drill string, which is shot in drill pipe pressure. Pump. Drill pipe pressure, yeah. So here, pump is slowly down, mm. drill pipe 5 SPM, and watch build up mm -hmm. in the analyst. Correct shot in drill pipe pressure mm. as soon as shot in kissing pressure start to increase. If you look at this figure, mm. here, the kissing pressure start to increase a little bit, like 20 or 30 PSI. At this moment, we read the shot in drill pipe pressure 500 PSI. Because any increase in shot in kissing pressure, it will have the same increase in the shot in drill pipe pressure value also. Because yes, this is correct. closed system. Yes. If you forget, and this one is 700 psi, jump it up 100 psi. Yeah. So your reading yeah. shot in drill pipe pressure will be more than also 100 psi. And instead yes. of 500, it should be 400 psi. Yes. Accurate reading for shot in drill pipe pressure, you will convert to kill mud weight, this, this value. So yes. if you cannot read shot and drill pipe pressure correctly, you cannot get data about formation pressure value. You cannot yes. calculate your kill mud weight. You cannot kill the weight. Yes. So kill mud density, the equation number 13 in formula sheet, look at this one, this equation. Kill number mud density, 15. it yes. will be equal shot and drill pipe pressure divided right. by TVD for the well, 
okay. times 0 0.052 plus the original or the current mud weight in the well. So you convert yes. the surface pressure and added this value to the original mud weight to have yes. kill mud weight. In this yes. case, the kill mud weight is equivalent to the formation pressure without any safety margin overbalance. You should add some safety yes. margin to be overbalance the yes. formation pressure. Yeah. Okay. So okay. the formation pressure or the value for shut and drill pipe pressure will not have any effect with the influx height or influx volume. Only the casing pressure right. have effect by the influx height or influx volume or kick volume. Okay. Understood. Here we talk about pressure stabilization. You remember mm. when you talk about permeability, here you can see mm. the effect for the permeability. At the same depth, yeah. if you have high permeable zone and low permeable zone, yeah. which one it gives yeah. you more influx volume? Uh, high permeability. High permeability. High. So which one will yes. give you higher surface casing high. pressure? Uh, high. It will, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will, it will uh, the influx will be faster and then the, the, it will stabilize faster also, the high permeability. So the high permeability here, for example, 900 PSI, casing pressure. Yeah. But low permeability yeah. because low influx volume, it give you less yes. like 700 PSI. Right. Here, the stabilization, it will be fast. Fast, yes. And the slow build up. So that's why yes. detect the kick or stabilization after the kick for the pressure reading will be more difficult when you deal with low permeable low or permeability. low permeability zone. This is the yes. first point will be complication in reading for the surface pressure. You need to wait more yes. for a stabilization. Yes, correct. Let's think together about this conditions. First case, okay. you have reading for shut-in casing pressure and your shut-in drill pipe pressure equals zero. In which case? Uh, your float, the float is closed. The float is closed. You have float valve in the string. What also? Or what else? Yeah. Uh, uh, you, uh, casing, there is pressure, but drill pipe, there is no pressure. Yeah, zero. Is it? Okay, so so casing, but casing, there is pressure. Casing is reading, has a reading, no problem. Okay, ca casing has a reading. One is uh, float valve is closed. Number two. Number two, if you if you if you if your nozzles are plugged, maybe. Nozzle is blocked completely. Possible. You cannot have zero this. psi on the SIDPP. Yeah, but this this is very difficult because because which one? Gauge. No, it can be plugged. It can uh, float valve not open. Uh, gauge a problem. Gauge not working. Yes. And, uh, not, yeah, gauge problem and and nozzle plug. Yeah. Nozzle plug oh. maybe not easy, but. Gauge, you have, gauge you have, yes, possible. Yeah, you have blockage in the drill string, like this block. In second condition, mm. you have reading and shot in drill pipe pressure, no problem, and shot in casing pressure, shot in casing pressure zero, from the beginning. We didn't uh, at the moment you shot in the well. Uh. The gauge not reading properly. Problem okay. with the gauge. Okay. Problem with the gauge and uh, mm, what else? The kick is not migrating enough or very no. What mean uh, the kick is not, not migrating? You're not getting pressure reading. You have backed off around bottom hole ascent. Or the or the the, the kick is uh, dissolved in the mud. The gas is dissolved in the mud. No, but you should it's have really. It's not completely oh, the, the soil. The, the kissing uh, uh, pressure valve is, is, is plugged. 
also you can have gauge problem or you have back off around the, the bottom hole assembly so the influence so the in, is below in zero it cannot be zero right completely back off it will give you zero because uh, uh, the influx is so below uh, again, again 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 please back off there is back off the formation is packed off around your strength or bottom hole assembly so the influx will not affect the there is no reading in the casing pressure ah okay okay you mean to say okay pack off yes yes okay the influx is below the pack off okay and what also right if you have bad line up for your bob stack mm. you close bottom by brand instead of the upper mm. pipe ramp so your choke mm. line is above is not not have any reading for shot and casing pressure mm. when you close you shot close the upper pipe ramp so the choke line is below when you open you will have reading yes but if you close the bottom pipe ramp yes. you will not be able to read shot and casing pressure from beginning yes correct okay in which case shot and drill pipe pressure Equal shot and casing pressure as the time we shot in the well. When you shut in the well, the there is no float. The float is open. Pulse will be uh, the, same. The, if the if the kick is if it's if it's the kick is already moved above the drill the drill bit, then. Uh, no, it's not, it's not. It's not because annulus area, the height is B less. So we need yes. to have the same height inside the pipe and the annulus. Yes. And this is impossible. Yeah, no, I don't know. SI, I don't know why. SIPP, SIDPP and SICP. In if, case, you need if, to your, if your influx weight nearly equal to your water bismuth if your kick influx okay. is water and its weight right. is near to your drilling fluid density ah okay so you will not see any difference in sipp and sidpp and SICP. okay yeah this okay. is first point second point in mm. horizontal well if you are drilling horizontal well in, and your yes. influx in the horizontal section, there is no vertical yes. lens for the influx. So pause yes. will be nearly equal from the beginning till the influx yes. is coming out from the indivated section. Yes, correct. Right? Correct. Right. Correct. And also, if your string is off bottom, yeah. your string, you are tripping out and the influx is below your string. So yes. hydrostatic head outside and inside the drill string will be same. Yes. So shot and drill pipe pressure will be equal shot and casing pressure. Yes. And after first circulation of driller method, when the gas is out from the well, the same casing will be equal the shot and drill pipe pressure. Yes, correct. Correct. Okay. Look here. What is the difference here? Uh, no cuttings in the annulus, so your your casing pressure is higher than your drill pipe pressure. And the second one, any little bit cuttings. In which case you get higher annulus pressure? Yeah, Please. the hydrostatic is because of the cutting also in the in the casing in the in the annulus. The Wait, Mr. Ali, again? Yeah, sorry. Sorry, the communication is down, I think. Yeah. Again, I will share the presentation. Yeah. yeah. You can see the presentation now, right? Yes. Okay. In which case, you will get higher shutting casing pressure. 
in the when, first case and the second case with the annulus loaded was the annulus loaded oh, no 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 sorry sorry in the first in the first case you will get higher higher casing pressure than the second case in the clean annulus you will get higher it's casing pressure annulus. why yes, because the uh, cutting loading will make higher in hydrostatic head so the casing yes. pressure will be dropped to, so the yes. summation will be equal constant bottom hole pressure or formation pressure yes it's okay this is here yeah. the difference the drill yes. pipe pressure will have no change here because yeah. this is the difference between formation pressure and hydrostatic head which is not yes okay this is of bottom the case yes. where shutting casing pressure equal shutting drill pipe pressure yes your influx is below the pit so the circulation point hydrostatic head is almost equal to the drill strain right. so pulse is equal once yes. you start to stripping back to bottom to yes. get away from the bottom after yes. the bottom assembly coming around the influx so the yes. casing pressure start to increase to the yes. it's a normal value when you yes. are on bottom yes here the back off yes if you have back off around potomal assembly and the influx yes. is below yes. no flow as the annulus yeah so zero and shut and drill pipe pressure has reading yes here what this one shut in mm. in horizontal well mm. no hydrostatic head vertical yes for yes. the influx so pause yes. will be equal from the beginning till yes. the influx start to coming in deviated and vertical yeah. section then you will see then you will see increase in shutting casing yeah. pressure yeah now we'll talk about the gas behavior yes the gas is different in behavior than the liquid oil yes or water that's why Correct. it is the worst scenario for kick during yes. the killing operation yes you have two behavior for the gas first one is called gas migration it's coming from my yep. grid that yep. means this happened in closed well in closed system the well yep. is not open from the choke so the gas start to migrate inside yeah. the well with yeah. its pressure what is the pressure for gas bubble at that time in the bottom 5500 psi it will be equal to the formation pressure coming from yes right so yes. imagine the effect for gas migration if we don't take action the gas start to migrate with its yes. bubbles for the pressure for the bubble so yes. The formation pressure will start to come inside the well pool. That means you will break the weak point or, or the show, casing yes. show at quick time if you don't take yes. any action. Yeah. This is the gas migration. Gas is lighter than the mud and yeah. will try to migrate up the hole. Yes. And if you look here from left to right, when you close the well, you have shot in pressure. value pressure 500 yes, psi yes. yes bottom hole pressure is equal to formation pressure after the stabilization 5500 yes. bubble yes. pressure or gas influx 5500 psi mm. hydrostatic head in the well equal 5000 psi was the mass. yes okay yes we have here some assumption for this calculation or this uh, illustration. We assume yeah. first the well is vertical well. Yes. Okay. Second, yes. we assume when the gas is coming inside the well pour, it's coming as one big bubble. Yes. It's not separated bubbles as actual. To yes. be easy for us. Yes. We assume also we ignore the compressibility for the fluid and we ignore temperature effect inside the well pool. Okay. And also yes. we consider 
the drilling fluid is water based mud because yes. in oil based mud there is solubility for yes. the gas inside the oil based mud. So the calculation it will not be easy like water based mud. Yes. Okay. So let's look here. 5,500 psi. If you keep the well is closed without any action and you start to calculate your kill mud and make blend and the gas migrate inside closed well and reach to the casing show in the middle for the well. Here, when the bubble is coming up, it will be considered as a solid substance. It will not affect by pressure above and below. Yes. So it will be reference inside the well pore. So yes. the bottom hole pressure, it will be equal to 5,500 plus 2,500 PSI. It, yes. will, it will increase to 8,000 PSI. Yes. From, from in the surface pressure, it will be 5,500 minus yes. 2,500. It will be 3,000 PSI. Yes. How much increasing? And the value for shutting casing pressure here between two stages. How much increasing? Uh, 2,500. And how much increasing bottom hole pressure? Uh, 2,500. That means each point in the well will, will increase by the same amount for the pressure. Yes. Why? It's because it is closed well. Yes. Show pressure casing, drill pipe, and all yes. point will increase by the same amount or gas migration. Correct. If you back again to this present to this slide here, we said yes. all point will start to jump up with the same amount because gas same start rate. to migrate. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Here the gas is reached to the surface. So bubble pressure yes. coming to the surface was 5,500. Yes. So surface pressure will yes. be equal. This is the maximum pressure yes. reading, 5,500. And Correct. bottom hole pressure will be equal, 5,500 plus 5,000 hydrostatic, yes. 10,500 10, PSI. Yes. So how much increasing in bottom hole pressure? From the original five uh, thousand 5, 5, 5, psi, it is increased two times bottom hole pressure, mm. right? Mm. And surface pressure, yeah, uh, ten times. Ten times. You imagine, yeah, the risk for gas migration now. Yes. <laughs> this this is the yes. problem for gas migration because right. the gas with its pressure will yeah. raise up inside the well. Yes. Okay, the speed for gas migration will be based on what? Based uh, on mud properties? Yeah, yeah. Weight, weight viscosity. and viscosity yeah. and whole angle, inclination. Yeah. If you have high angle well, the gas It'll migration be will be slow. In yeah. vertical well, it will be fast. Yeah. And rule of thumb, gas migration maximum, according to the experience, Mm. Range it from 500 food per hour, maximum 1,000 food per hour. The gas migration. It is depend on whole angle and not properties, but it's range minimum 500 up to 1,000 food per hour. That means if you have closed well 10,000 food, the gas can reach to Maybe the surface in 10, in hour 10 hour. hours. It's very fast. Yeah. So the gas cannot expand. Mm. So it will, will carry formation pressure upward, mm. causing shot and kissing pressure, bottom hole pressure, shot and drip pipe pressure to increase. If you exceed the mask, you will risk to break weak point with the uh, kissing shoe. This issue. Or somewhere. Okay. Yeah. There is one equation regarding to the gas migration rate in the formula sheet. Yes. And there is one question can come in the exam about this calculation. Number okay. 17, gas yes. migration rate. This equation apply only for water based mud. Okay. Right. Equal to rate of increase in surface pressure, whatever is shot in drill pipe pressure or shot increase in pressure, divided mm. by the 
drilling density by 0.052. The gradient mm. for the mud. Mm. It gives you how many feet per hour the gas start to migrate. Yeah, but this one you need to monitor the well first, so you will know the rate of increase in surface pressure, right? Yeah, in the, in the one will, hour. Yeah. After you the stabilization know. period, yes, you start to record the pressure. When you start to yeah. read, for example, the casting yeah. pressure 700 and drill by 500, yeah. you will see yeah. 550, 750. Right. So you need after the 600, 800. So you know yes. the increasing now is 50 psi. You yes. take the 50 psi and yes. apply this equation to give you approximate the gas migration yes. speed how much yes understood okay okay here gas migration how to deal with we need to bleed some pressure from the surface yes okay while keeping bottom hole pressure constant to not take additional more, influx. More influx yeah and you bleed some mud to give space for the gas to expand yes expanding gas is better than migration for the gas why yes. pressure is lower because pressure will be less in the bubble and yeah. the volume will be increased yes so in this way we control the gas migration yes and instead of it is coming out inside the well without any control. So yes. here, if you look, drill pipe pressure 500. Yes. It is increased to 600 due to gas migration. Yes. So we bleed some mud. While bleeding yes. the mud here, we bleed and keep shut in drill pipe pressure constant. Why? Yes to keep bottom hole pressure constant pressure because constant. Yeah. this one is homogeneous phase. Usually yes. we keep the homogeneous side is static. Why? Yes. Because the casing pressure will be jump up because more expansion, more reduction hydrostatic to compensate this reduction, casing pressure will increase. So the submission yeah. will be constant number equal bottom hole pressure. This is how to deal with gas migration while prepare your kill fluid density to kill the well, if you will wait for some time. Bleed some mud, allowing the gas to uh, migrate or expand in constant way, yes. while holding shut and drill pipe pressure constant. Okay? Yes. The another behavior is called gas expansion. Here, we open the well. We manipulating the choke, open and the yes. close, to, yes. while killing operation. So yes. instead of gas migrate in closed system, no. The gas start to expand. Its bubble pressure decrease. Its volume increase. Mm. So the gas start to expand. Where the maximum expansion for the gas at the surface during killing operation? A maximum expansion for the gas. In which place? The surface. At, at the, the surface. surface. So yes. this is the maximum casing pressure you can see at that shock, right? Correct. Because maximum reduction hydrostatic head and to control bottom hole pressure above formation pressure equal, so the summation is will be less, it will be safe. So when your hydrostatic head become less, you close the choke more, so increase surface pressure. So summation for surface pressure versus hydrostatic is equal to bottom hole pressure, at least equal your formation pressure to prevent excess influx to coming inside the well pool. This yes. is the target or objective for well control method getting yes. gas or influx out without getting additional influx inside the well pool. Well, how to yes. control by hydrostatic heat and surface pressure post is equal to bottom hole pressure. Yeah. So what will happen to the gas volume? Gas volume increase while expansion yeah. and its pressure bubbles will be decreased. 
yep. maximum expansion will be near to the surface. Yep. Gas pressure increase while the gas expand due to loss in hydrostatic. What will happen to the pit gain at the surface, the tanks? It will be increased because yep. the gas expansion will push more mud ahead. Right. That's yes. why we said we need to monitor the level for the tank yes. for loss or for gas expansion. Yeah. Yeah. After the gas as the shock, so the gas start to coming out, so the bit gain start to decrease. You will compensate the gas out with mud. After yes. completely gas out, the level for tank will be static. Yes. If you don't have any loss or loss. Yes. After gas is out, pit level become steady. This is the behavior for gas expansion. So the gas yes. expansion increase casing pressure, but with controlled way, better than the gas migration inside closed wet. The gas expansion here will follow the boil law, P1, V1 equal yes. constant, or P1, V1 equal P2, V2. 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 Pressure by volume for gas equal at 1.1, equal pressure by volume at another point or at the surface. This right. gas law, you will find equation number 18 in the formula sheet. Number 18. Okay, okay, yes, gas loss, okay. Okay. Here is the figure to describe the gas expansion open hole, volume one, double, mm -hmm. four time. Yes. So the pressure will drop eight sixteen thirty two. Yes. Maximum expansion at the surface, so maximum bit gain at the surface here. Yes. Okay. The gas when start to expand, any pressure point above the gas will start to increase its pressure. Like when, yeah. the, when the gas start to expand, casing pressure at the surface start to increase. Maximum increasing when the gas start to reach to the shock or to the surface. Any point the gas past finish, it will be constant. Any point below the gas yeah. will be constant with yeah. the pressure. Any yeah. point gas yeah. start to passes, the pressure start to drop. Yes. Let's take example for casing show. When the casing show or the show pressure will be the maximum value in which case while killing operation. Show pressure. Show pressure will be highest when when the gas is at the surface? No, show, the show point, not the casing pressure. Okay, hold on. Gas expands and signal up the hole. Uh, yeah. yeah at the, any point above gas. Okay, when the when the gas is at the bottom of the hole, below the shoe. When the gas bubble top for it's the below. gas is reached to the show point. Maximum It'll expansion be. and open hole. When the gas is at the shoe point, the, the, the shoe point will be the highest? Yeah, because uh, when the top when the top for the gas reach to the shoe, this is the right. maximum expansion for the gas in open hole. Right. So maximum increasing as the show pressure. So the, 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 each point will see the highest pressure when the gas is, past, is, 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 at, the, is at that point, is it? Is that the point? Uh, Again. That, that means each, at, at any point. Show. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. Will be equal from bottom. Mm. Will be equal bottom. Hold. Pressure. Right. Plus B hydrostatic. Yes. An open hole. 
right? Yes. From the bottom Correct. for the well. Imagine Correct. that the shock pressure is the top point, right? Right. So shock pressure, it will be equal bottom hole pressure plus yes. hydrostatic head for open hole. Yes. Bottom hole pressure, equal formation pressure. Yes. Constant number, for example, 12,000 psi. Okay. 2,000 psi, sorry. Okay. Show pressure, it will be maximum when this one, it become more or less the lowest value, right? Right, right. So the submission, it will be same. Yes. When this value, it will be lowest value, be hydrostatic and open hole. When the gas take maximum expansion open hole, maximum head. So maximum reduction in pressure hydrostatic and open hole. So the show pressure will be maximum value during this circulation. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. What will happen when the gas start to coming passes? That means now some is, is left and some is still in open hole. What will mm. happen to the hydrostatic hidden open hole? It, it, start, will it will start to increase because some gas is out and mm. the mud compensate this gas. Right? Okay. Right. So here, hydrostatic and open hole will become to increase, right? So what we'll see for the show pressure will start to drop. Right. Force right. will be equal to 2,000 psi, as we said, for example. Yes, yes. So this give you, this point give you illustration about this point. Pressure at any point above the gas will start to increase or yes. increasing. And yes. gas, when it passes, pressure will start to drop, like what happened in the show pressure. When yes. the gas out from the show, the yes. show pressure, it will be constant. Why? Yes. Now the bottom hole pressure constant, and yes. the hydrostatic and open hole is have mud. It will not change yes. because the gas above yes. the show. So yes. the show pressure will not change. Yeah. That's why we consider our casing pressure not exceed mass only when we circulate the open hole section. Right. Because after open hole section, we will not consider for the mass. Why? Correct. Because the show pressure, it will, will be, be constant. constant. Yeah, not so we don't care anymore. Yeah. Once the gas is in the casing, we don't care about the show anymore, right? We don't care about the show or mass value. And yeah. the mass value, Will it change now because the gas start to enter the show? Yes. Reduce the hydrostatic head. So what yes. will happen to the recalculate mass? It will be higher or less when the gas is coming inside the show. The gas coming inside the shoe, so you will displace more mud in the hole, right? So the mass will mass will come down. Again. No mass will no mass will go up. Why? Because gas yes, you... affect the hydrostatic head above the show. Yes. It will be less. Yes. So we recalculate from the equation for mass, ma fracture minus mud weight, mud weight down, so the mass is up now. Yes. So the value for mass will change now. Yes. When the gas is coming inside the show. Yes. So it will increase. Yes. So we will not be able to reach our casing pressure to the mass also. Yes. Understand? Yes. Understand. Or you, or you need to repeat. This is critical point. The That's last, why the last, the last sentence, Mr. Honey, you said what the casing, does, the mass will not reach the casing uh, pressure. You said. Yeah, the mass value will increase from the initial mass value. Yes. When the gas is coming inside the show. So yes. the mass value is increasing. So we still have range from our casing pressure to reach the new value for the mass. Yes. 
For example, imagine the, the mass value was uh, 500 psi, uh, 1000 okay. psi. And after the gas yes. is coming inside, it will be 1200. So our margin now, okay. it will be more with 200 psi. Yes. You will not reach the mass value. Okay. Even you reach, uh, okay, yes. your show pressure will not affect because it will be constant now. Value. Yes, because it's already in the casing. Understood. Okay. So again, pressure yes. at any point above and after the gas is coming inside the show and up inside the casing, what will happen to the casing pressure? Mm. It start to increasing because the gas starts yes. continue expanding. Yes. So pressure at any point above the gas will be increasing. Yes. Passes pressure will start to drop. Past yep. it will be constant. Constant, yeah. Clear? Clear. Okay. Here, what is the maximum show pressure? We said with the gas, it will be in two situations at the mm. initial shot in. Mm. And when the top of the gas or influx reaches to the casing show, it is yes. the maximum expansion in open hole. With yes. oil or water yep. at initial shut in. Yep. And when the pressure change due to annular size changing, that means yep. the influx come in narrow area. So hydrostatic heat increase, so the casing pressure start to uh, fluctuate according to the change yeah. in the hydrostatic head. This one is yeah. the change you can see when you circulate oil or water out. Oh, it will yes. be more easy because no expansion. Yeah. If shut-in casing pressure exceeds mass at initial shut-in, the formation will break down as a show. Yes. What is the behavior for gas in water and oil-based mud? Water-based mud and oil-based mud. If you yeah. take temporary influx in each case, yeah. which pressure for shot and casing pressure will be higher in oil yeah, based or water based? Water based, man. Water based because from yeah. beginning, temperature it will be separate, is not dissolved in the oil based mud. Yes, correct. But here it will be inside the solution. Yes, correct. So this is the second point. It will make the detection for the kick is more difficult. If you yes. are drilling with oil based mud. Yes, correct. So first point we said in low permeability zone for the build up trend. And second point, if you are drilling with oil based mud, yes. because in oil based mud, six parallel will be the solvent and three parallel, it will be separate. Yes. So the gas expansion from beginning, it will not show the true expansion. Right. Till you reach purple point, there is purple point according to each type for gas. Yes. Normally, it is near to the surface. Yes. In most cases. So yes. at this moment, you will see the gas is coming out in separate bubbles out from the solution. At yes. that moment, casing pressure will start dramatically to increase, jumping one time. That's yes. why dealing with Oil-based mud is more difficult than water-based mud if you are killing the well with gas influx. Yes. Okay. Yep. Look here at this figure. Yes. The left one is water-based mud. Mm. Will start at 10,000. Mm. At 5,000, six barrel mm. gas expansion. Yep. Here we take three barrel. Yeah. Then the expansion start in constant way yes. till to reach to the surface. Yes. Here, zero expansion yeah. till 1,500 almost. Yeah. Then 100% expansion yes. after reach to the purple point. This is the yes. dangerous with oil-based mud. That's why yeah. from beginning, we deal with any type for uh, influx as a gas kick, worst scenario. Yes. Because you may 
working with oil based mud and you cannot yes. see the expansion or shot increasing pressure will be affect from the beginning correct look at this example correct hydrocarbon gas no no it's more be, soluble in uh, so it's false yeah Hydrocarbon is more soluble in oil based mud, not water based yeah. mud. So, okay. B, false. Yeah. yeah. Do you have any question to this point? Uh, no. Okay. We finished day number one, actually. Okay. okay. Uh, this is your uh, homework. The rest of the okay. portion in this section. Please okay. open the exercise book now. To exercise have, book? Yeah. Which one, Mr. Honey? IWCF exercise book. You have two book. One quiz. This is for exam, like okay. exam, and one IWCF exercise book. Oh, revision one twenty, yeah, exercise, right? Yeah. STC IWCF exercise one. one two, three, four, hold on. Exercise level three and four. Yeah, okay. Okay. I will mark you some questions and they give okay. you time for for exercise to solve uh, now. Okay. Okay. So please open page. You have a uh, model answer in the last. Okay. If you need okay. to check your answer. Okay. Uh, page number six. Page number six. Yeah. And page number six. Hold on. <laughs> page number six is empty. So page number seven, maybe. Hold on, which one? You, okay, quiz module answer. Is it L4? No, STC IWCF revision one. Yeah, right? it, is, it, is, it is not quiz, it is exercise. Okay. STC IWCF exercise revision yeah. one, 20, this one, zero this one, one, zero one, two zero one. Huh? Open this one. Okay, page number six, six empty. Number seven? Page, okay, First number page. seven, yes. Number seven, okay. Yeah. Number one, mark number one. Okay. Number three. Theoretical well control, right? Right? Yes, yes. Theoretical well control okay. question. Okay, so mark number one. Number three. The uh, barriers, huh? Yeah. Okay. Number five. Number five. Number number, five, number seven. Uh, number static and dynamic pressure. Huh? Static and dynamic pressures, right? Not a static. Answer. Number five, which was the following is necessary to maintain primary root control. Yes. Okay. No. What no? Number. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Mr. Honey, hold on. Not same. Not same. Hold on. Number one. Number one. Okay, hold on. Number one. Number one is theoretical well control questions, right? Yeah. Number okay. one, kick. No, there's no kick. Number one is risk management, right? That's okay. Below risk. Number three okay. is below the barrier. Okay. Number five, the next page. Oh, which of the following is necessary? Yeah, yeah. Number five. Number okay. seven. One, three. Five. Number, number seven, okay. Number eight. What's the okay? Number ten. Number ten is what is the most common cause? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Number thirteen. Number fifteen is thirteen. Thirteen. ECD, yeah. Thirteen. 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 Yeah? Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. After that, number fifteen. Okay, 13, 15. Number 18. Number 18. Number 20. Number 20. After that, number 27. Uh, Lick of test and mask. 27. Section. Okay, 27. Below leak of test and mask section number 27, 29. Yes, 
30. Number 32, kick warning sign, now section. Okay, 32, okay. 34. 34. That's why in homework, I write for you, rest for question in this section, okay? Right. For, for homework. Okay. 30, 32, 34. Okay. 36. 36, okay. Uh, 39. 64 66 79 86 86 yeah 91 91 after that you go page uh, 45 45 well control calculations Okay. Okay. In this section, you have uh, 30 questions calculation. Okay. 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 We'll, we'll take now number one. Number one. Number four. Number four. Number eight. Number eight. Number 11. Number 11. Number 20. Number 20. And number 24. Number 24. The rest for this calculation, it will be more, okay? This is the last okay. point here. We'll control okay. calculation page from okay. 44 up to 53. Okay. Okay? Okay. Now with your time, I will give you some time. After, after you finish, we'll review together before we finish, okay? Okay. That's, I will so, give you half hour. Okay. So I will do all this, huh? Now you will do what we take now, what we mark. Okay. The rest will be homework in this section. Okay. So I will do the, the first one we mark and page 45 also, right? Yes. So 45, 1, 4, 8, 11, 20, 24. Also that one and the earlier ones is now, right? Yeah. Please go okay. ahead now. Okay. Okay. After half hour, I will come back to you, okay? Sure. No problem. All right. 